you know, if you just look at like how women and men deal with stress, it's just different, right? And part of it's that hypothalamic pituitary access, right? Um, men have a slight advantage because testosterone buffers the cortisol in that whole feedback loop. And so as women age, that testosterone can drop from age 20 to 30 into perimenopause by 50%. And so as a woman ages, if that DHEA is dropping from their adrenals, that DHEA is a precursor for testosterone and for um, estrogen. If that drops, that stress response from the hypoth hypothalamus pituitary to the gonads, to the ovaries, is going to make you more susceptible right, to stress and to inflammation. Uh, and yeah. so you have to really look at that. And the other thing is, we talked about the feedback loop, right? GnRH, gonadotropic release hormone for the, from the hypothalamus, to FSH, LH from the pituitary, and then to the gonads down below. That feedback loop, that first domino is GnRH. That's dopamine. So you need good dopamine to have that healthy feedback loop, right? Well, dopamine is made from protein. It's made from phenylalanine tryptophan. And then you have the, the big cofactors to make that work and convert are going to be things that are low in the soil. Magnesium, a cofactor. Zinc is an important cofactor, right? Iron, if you're anemic as a female or a male, vegan, vegetarian, or you have low stomach acid, iron's going to be low. B6, very important, right? That's going to be lower in certain organic foods that are just the soil depletion. So B6 is real. And then, of course, tryptophan is going to be an issue too because that's going to be a precursor to serotonin, serotonin, melatonin. So for females, stress is a big deal, and that low testosterone from the low DHEA can really impact that. And also guys too are still at, still going to have issues because we're bathing in estrogen and from microplastics, from pesticides, mold toxins, they're all estrogenic. That screws up the LH feedback loop to the brain, and that can lower testosterone that way too. Oh, speaking of testosterone, I ran my blood about a month ago. And since my last blood work, I was able to increase my testosterone by about 350 points. And I would attribute that to more sunshine, yep. more, more swimming, more like outdoor biking, outdoor swimming. And then also I put together a, a blend, some different herbs that I've been messing with. So I think this is a huge piece of the puzzle for both men and women. And so ladies, if your sex drive sucks or you have a non-existent sex drive, it, it, it's, it might not it might not be just the emotional issue with your husband because you're mad he didn't take the trash out. It could be something underlying with the hormones and you can use specific herbs to help boost testosterone. Women need testosterone, at, I mean, just as much in my opinion, because as you mentioned, it's a good buffer for the stress.